In this video we're going to uh, look at making a simple coin uh, pickup system. Um, I've made already a default uh, first person template game. Um, it's just a standard UE4 example and we're going to start off by making our coin blueprint. Um, so what we'll do first is create a new blueprint class um, of actor type call it coin underscore bp and inside this we're going to open up our coin blueprint and add a couple of components one is going to be a, a cylinder and we're going to scale this so that it's a slightly smaller cylinder so 0.5 by 0.5 by 0.1 and we're going to rotate it as well, uh, 90 degrees uh, on the x-axis. Um, just to make it look a bit more sort of coin-like, I suppose, um, we can add some rotation as well, so off the event tick. And we're going to use the add actor local rotation and we'll just go for rotating it um, on the z-axis by say one degree every tick uh, and we'll just drag one of these into our level and just check that it works so you can see our coin there spinning around um, what we uh, are also going to do is just add a quick material as well So I've made a material called Coin Gold MAT, and we're just going to quickly use the material editor. So we look for something called a constant three for the base color. I'm going to pick a kind of yellowy base, a metallic. We're going to type in a constant. And it is going to be metallic, so it's a shiny coin. And then for our roughness, we're going to go for a constant as well. And we'll give it something like 0.25. And that should give us a slightly shiny uh, coin material to go with. So we're going to apply that to our coin just by selecting the cylinder that we made and then choosing the coin material as part of that. Um, what you'll find if you run the game is that our coin is actually a solid item and our player can kind of bump into it which is kind of not what we want. So we're going to set the collision of the actual cylinder itself to be um, no collision. To make it uh, an item that can be picked up we need to add some kind of uh, collision to it so we're going to add a collision sphere um, and we're going to make that just slightly make sure it's set on the default scene route there and we'll make sure that it's uh, set so that it's just slightly bigger than the coin itself so um, it's much more efficient to use a collision sphere rather than using the, the, the mesh um, keeps the engine kind of happy um, so that's the sort of main part of the coin um, on the overlap we are going to set it so that it checks to make sure that the actor that overlapped it is the first person character so we can use the um, cast first person character node to do that and uh, if it is a first person character, um, then this is where we're going to tell our character to um, increment its coin counter and so on. So before we do that, we need to give our first person character the ability to collect coins. So we'll add a new variable here, uh, set it to an integer type, call it coins. And then 
we'll drag the reference to coins here and it's probably best to use um, a custom event so we'll add a custom event here and we'll call it pickup coin When we pick the coin up, we will basically increment our coin counter. So we can use something called increment int, which just adds one more to the value of coins. And then we'll just do a print string at the end, just so we know that it's worked. Uh, if we now go back to our coin blueprint, You'll find that in our first person character, we've got our function we just made called pickup coin. So we'll run that, and then once that's done, we'll run the uh, destroy actor so that the coin itself gets destroyed. So this now should mean that the player uh, walks over the coin, adds one more to their coin counter, and then picks the coin up, and the old coin disappears. So let's try that. There we are, and you see the number one appear in the corner there. We'll test with a few more coins just to check everything's working properly. See the coin counter going up at the side there um, and then finally what might be quite nice is to um, get our coin to actually play a sound when it gets picked up so this could be either be done um, within the player themselves or perhaps the coin spawns the sound into the world as it's collected um, I've got a sound already that I've um, grabbed from the site here um, you notice this downloads it as a FLAC audio file so uh, what I've done is taken it into Audacity, uh, gone into the export setting, export as WAV, and you've got to make sure that it's exported as a 16-bit uh, WAV file. Once that's exported, um, then you can go to your engine, uh, you can choose a relevant folder, there's an audio folder here already, and we'll just go to the import option, pick our audio file and import it like that. Um, just before the destroy actor then, within our coin, uh, we're going to choose the uh, spawn sound attached and we'll spawn it into the world um, and we'll tell it we want it to spawn um, at the position that the current coin is, so at the default scene root for this coin and we'll pick the sound effect like so. So now when we run the game, we should have it picking up sounds like that. I'll just adjust the volume there, you should be able to hear it slightly better. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you might want to consider adding a head-up display using widgets um, later on just to make that coin counter a bit more obvious, but for a basic pickup system uh, this seems to work quite well.